Hey everybody, Rose Matter here. Welcome to part two of my Higurashi When They Cry Watanagashi Let's Play. That is quite the mouthful. So in the last episode, we kind of just started, you know, back in our usual regular life. Everybody's acting normal again. Uh, we had our usual club activities, had a little bit of like a game tournament, and Mion mentioned about a deal breaker happening at the Watanagashi Festival, which as we know from the first chapter, Nothing good comes from the Watanagashi Festival. So we are going to go right back into it and, you know, just enjoy our regular school life, I'm assuming. So let's get into it. So first things first is we did get a tip at the end of the first episode, which was something about Mion's uncle. Hmm, sorry. Today, I'm going to go to the What's Mio put her hands together in apology and grinned. The club locker was the trans-dimensional space from which Mion pulled games whenever we met for club activities. I wondered how so many freaking games could be stored in the locker. It was even smaller than the one with the cleaning supplies in it. Besides those games, it was also a cornucopia of suspicious objects, costumes, and for punishment games. If we lined them all up on the floor in order to sort them out, they would definitely fill the entire classroom. <laughs> Mion gave a hearty laugh, implying that the only one who could do so was the club president. So also, um, I did the two, I did this episode and the last episode, I'm pretty much doing them back to back, so I still haven't figured out the issue with like the mouths not moving, so um, I don't know if there's really any solution to it. If there is, I'm going to try and have it fixed for the next episode. <laughs> Mion said, feeling about in her pocket. Judging by her expression, she must have planned on returning it, but it was still in her pocket. <laughs> Giggling, Sadako and Rika Chen clapped their hands together in celebration. Yakamashi! Slap, clap. Mion elbowed Sadako and Rika Chen in their heads and headed for the teacher's lounge. Ah, so that. Gotta love that casual abuse of children in this game. <laughs> the two of them made disappointed faces. Whatever anyone said, Mion's club was always the number one thing I looked forward to when going to school. It wasn't hard to agree with their melancholic expressions after hearing it wouldn't be happening today. Whenever Mion canceled club, it was usually because of her job. However, it also didn't seem like she went there every day. She would go two or three days in a row, then not go at all for a while. It sounded like a pretty damn random part-time job. Mion wearing socks and a helmet, sweating to death in a factory. I couldn't imagine such a thing. Mion-san she has a lot of uncles who own shops? A lot of them? 
沖ノ宮にはミオンさんの親戚の方がやってるお店って結構いっぱいありますのよ。Now that I think about it, didn't she call the guy who worked at the toy shop? Call him? Didn't she say that he was an uncle too? Or maybe that's just like a nickname? Or maybe I'm totally mistaken about that. So, what do you think about that? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Yep, there we go. I was dumbfounded. That's amazing. Mion no ichi zoku te, nani ge ni shousai ga arun janai no ka? Sore dake i loiro aru te no mo, nanda ga sgoi yo na. Hoka ni mo, kin yu gyo to ka, kidou san gyo to ka, apparel san gyo to ka, amusement san gyo to ka, i loiro yatte ると itte masu desu. It's weird having that come out of like a little child's mouth, just strip club and a brothel, like, totally normal. Okay, a couple of weird things came up that time, but still. I could tell it was pretty extensive. 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 Damn, what is it with these people and threatening to like also pimp out these little girls? <laughs> Rika Chan being sold into the entertainment industry to pay off her debts. Crap. My nose. Ew. Oh, God. Keiichi, like, there are some times that I feel really bad for you, and there are some times I want to smack you. Huh? She doesn't really get it, does she? Recently, she seems so unspoiled. Rika Chan and I gave her a pat on the head. Sadako was lost in confusion, but she seemed to understand she was being made fun of. Alright, so let's head on back to the main story. Mion spoke in a voice that went so far as to make whoever heard it lethargic. It was almost three o'clock. Sixth period was almost over. By the way, Sadako and everyone else in the lower grades ended their school day after fifth period, so they were probably running around in the schoolyard right now. I can hear their joy-filled voices coming from there right now. Oh, what I would give to be able to join them. Bam! The teacher cackled as she hit the back of Mion's head with the corner of a textbook. Okay, I know this is like, this is... 1980s Japan, but just like the level of just the casual abuse from people is just can be shocking sometimes. I'm just like, I'm just picturing in in school these days, it's just like if you, if a teacher even tried to do anything similar to that, oh my god, they'd be out on their ass so fast. Mion, who had been half asleep, became lively again at the moment she heard class was over. It must be delightful to be that shrewd. Homeroom was done after the lower grades had finished their lessons, so we were free to go. It was one of the odd rules we had as a mixed grade school. When they knew class was over, Sadako and Rika chan returned to the classroom. <laughs> Yes, 
今日は昨日のイベントの続きにはならないのそうそうそうですわあれだけ大盛り上がりして尻切れトンボでは納得がいきませんのよまあまあ気持ちはわかるけどまたの機会にしようよ yeah, we're saving that for the big festival, aren't we? 大阪の教室なんてしみったれたロケーションじゃなくてもっと晴れの舞台でさ俺はいつでもいいけどな決勝戦は後輩たちも立ち会わせる約束になってるんだあらかじめ日取りを決めてほしいぜわあ、ケイチくんすごい応援してくれる人がいるんだね Yeah, <laughs> not for the、uh, most Wholesome of reasons?、Uh, I'm still mad at Keiichi for promising that he basically is going to give these kids Rika and Sadako. Ugh, so gross. I couldn't help but watch as Rena entered her pining maiden mode. With a saccharine Keiichi brand smile, I ruffled Rena's hair roughly. Rena turned bright red and short circuited, smoke billowing from both of her ears. Gazing into her eyes, a strange scene of me holding hands with Rena and skipping through a flower bed was reflected there. And then you just stab her. <laughs> Even if it was in someone else's imagination, it was terribly troubling. When Rika Chan said that, everyone burst out laughing at once. <laughs> でもその Mion leered with the gaze befitting of a club president. No, befitting of an empress. The mood in the room became more lively. It was as good a moment as any to get started. <laughs> Mion let out a small interjection,、uh, interjection as she rummaged through the so called club locker. Every time I look, there's always a ton of things crammed in there. Everything that's jammed in that locker is a game of some kind, you know. On top of that, things used for penalty games like cat ears and collars were kept in there. The capacity of that thing is unfathomable. That locker, maybe it actually extended through the wall into the fourth dimension. That's my theory, anyways. If not that, then how else could you explain how someone could pull out item after item? After Mion touched her hand to her chin briefly and thought, She turned around without pulling out any games. Red and I both expressed our agreement. I feel the same way. With this group, there's no doubt even if we were pulling weeds from the school grounds, it would be fun. Oh, how long will that last, though? <laughs> that's other than Trap Master, that's her other secret power. So, poker is out of the question then. I've always been told that, but ever since I transferred, it seems like it's been especially bad. I need to develop a poker face or I could be in for a rough time. Hi! Minna, Keito, Keito! Lulu, I'll tell you about We all immediately cut the idle chatter and put on stern expressions. In no time at all, everyone's gaze focused like a tiger or shark, listening intently. That's right. From the point where the rules are explained, the match has already begun. Sympathy. It means to share someone's feelings, right? Maybe I might know this. 
お題目を決めてみんなで連想する言葉を書いて同じ答えを書いた人が多ければ多いほど得点っていうゲームかなだったらレナ知ってるよあ、ah, I remember I recall playing a game like that in grade school while we were on the bus during a field trip 知らないゲームでしたよ説明してほしいですわねまずね親がお題目を決めるんだよ例えばデザートっていうお題目を決めたとするさとこはデザートって言われたら真っ先に何を思いつくかなえっとそうですわね例えばプリンとかオッケーだったらさとこは手元のメモにプリンって書くわけで全員で一斉の背で答えを公開し合うでプリンって書いた人が2人以上いれば得点いればいるほど高得点だから全員が同じ答えだったら最大5点入るわけつまりみんなと同じ答えになるように考えるのがコツなのです It was exactly as Rika Chan said The point of this game was to think in a way so you have the same answer as everybody else For example, even if you heard the word dessert and immediately thought of strawberry sundae If your answer doesn't match up with everyone else, you don't get any points That's why you have to hold off on that answer and change to one that seems like one everyone else would choose. The key becomes not what you think yourself, but being able to predict what everybody else will answer. It's a very high level intellectual game. Me, Satoko no tame ni, ikkai dake renshu o shite mi mashou desu. Ok. Oya wa buchou de aru atashi de i yo ne. Odai mo kou nani ka dekitou ni. Taking out her literature textbook, she began flipping to a random page. <laughs> Among the standard flavors of shaved ice, there's strawberry, melon, and blue Hawaii. The most popular amongst those is obviously melon. What? I'm the only one with melon? お前ら、いちごなんてスタンダードなつまんねえの選ぶだよな。おいレナ、かき氷でいちごなんか頼むかよ。夏祭りでいちばん早く売り切れるのはメロンって決まってるんだぜ。レナもメロン味は好きだよ
どうするのさとこちゃんとリカちゃんのお家は私たちとは逆方向だよじゃあ1位の荷物をビリがうちまで運んであげるでいいんじゃない全員の荷物の宅配だと結構いい距離になっちゃうしねあうんそれくらいならいいかもねなんだか今日の罰ゲームは簡単ですわね I love how Sarko is all her most The thing she's most interested in is the penalties. この程度の罰ゲームではケイチさんにやらせても面白くありませんわじゃあもうちょっとレベルアップしようかねただ荷物運びをするだけじゃなくこれを着て荷物運びをしてもらうというのはどうかな Of course, of course, they always have to add dressing up to it なな,なぜにメイド服<笑>でもケイチさんが負けた場合はどうしますのケイチさんに着れるサイズがなければそこは抜かりないよ。No, I just I don't like the idea of they, them having like little maid outfits for these little girls. Just like they have all the sizes. ケイちゃん用にちゃんと XL サイズも用意してあるもんね。さあケイちゃん、覚悟はいいメイドコスさせて、外を練り歩かせてあげるよ。カチューシャからそりゃもう何から何まで全部揃ってるんだからねぜぜ絶対変だなんでそんなものがサイズごとに全部ロッカーに入ってるんだよ<笑> This is bad, Keiichi Maibara Somehow it's become a situation where only my failure results in an overly cruel price to pay What if I make a mistake and lose? I wouldn't be able to walk around in broad daylight anymore Oh, ma'am, about that Maibara boy. Did you hear about him? <laughs> I love that they just keep reusing the creepy sound effects for, for things that are completely mundane. It seems like he had us a pension for cross dressing. Oh my, really? That'd be so embarrassing, you know? Oh ho ho. <laughs> That's just incredibly brutal. If we're to return this penalty to some semblance of normalcy, now is the only time. Everybody, I think we should refrain from this unwholesome penalty game. Why on the way back from school? Do we have to be accompanied by a girl wearing a maid outfit and carrying our baggage? Having them say master while dragging them around the village in such an embarrassing outfit? Wait, why am I panting? What is this? This feeling welling up inside me. やっぱり普通の荷物持ちにしようよほらケイチ君も固まっちゃってるし<笑>ケイチ just discovered a new kink about himself he kind of he likes the idea of him doing that burning with passion I oh <laughs> silly of me to be like he's thinking about himself dressed up no obviously he's thinking about having one of the girls do it for him burning with passion I firmly place my hands on Rena's shoulders レナ罰ゲームが何かが問題じゃない勝てばいいのさそうだろうみんな。Oh, is, it could be someone his age, but it could also be one of like the little e i g h t y e a r o l d girls. And that's just creepy. I turn to everybody with an idiotic grin and my pearly whites flashing with a brilliant gleam. Oh, ケイちゃん、わかってきたね。どんな罰ゲームでも恐れない。勝てばいいんだから。だよな、みんな。えい、えい。From me on to Rika, everybody energetically thrust their fists up high. Only Rena seems somewhat undecided, standing there looking flustered. She's a little bit slow, isn't she? If she wins, even for Rena, it's quite a delectable opportunity. Oi, oi, Rena, this is a very big chance. The maid of Rika is a very big chance. The maid of Rika is a very big chance. The maid of Rika is a very big chance. The maid of Rika is a very big chance. Uh, ew, sploosh? Sploosh. S sploosh. They couldn't have picked a better onomatopoeia for that. Ew. I hope the maid outfits are at least tasteful for the, the little ones. Rena began spouting a fountain of blood from her nose. The look in her eyes completely changed. She shifted into cute mode. I was waiting for this, Rena. That look in her eyes. <laughs> よし
全員覚悟は決まったねじゃあメモの用意第1問いくよミオン opened up her textbook to a random page and read out a word that caught her eye まず最初のお題目は夏休み This is yet another quite abstract keyword Well then, let's not worry about it too much and start with something like this いいいくよいっせーのせ On Mion's signal, everyone simultaneously held up what they wrote. Let's see, what did everybody write? <laughs> Mosquito coils. Is that, is that Rika? Is Rika just not really good at this? Oh, Lena and I are the same answer. Okay, let's see. Let's see. But, Satoko-chan is good at the flower. Rika-chan is good at the flower. Oh, Ren, I feel like you're giving uh, Rika too much uh, credit here. Let's see. Oh, Ren, I feel like you're giving Rika too much uh, <laughs> too much credit. She's terrible at this. I feel like she's gonna lose this. Uh, summer festival means the Watanagashi festival. Wait, what did Keiichi write? Invigorating words and invoke the image of summer break. Certainly things that enrich the soul. As everybody approaches the soon to come summer break, a plethora of dreams should be etched upon their thoughts. Did he write, like, swimsuits or something pervy? ダメダメ、見せるのがルールなんだから。ほらほら。ああやめろよ。み見るな。Why would he write something he'd be ashamed of? Homework. Oh, Keiichi's not good at this either. The room went silent. Nobody could really follow up that response. It's as if my impertinent answer had somehow sullied the wonderful dreams of the coming summer break. ケイチ君の夏休みって楽しくなかったんだね大丈夫ですよ私の夏はみんなで過ごしましょうですあなたは何を楽しむのかわかりませんよあ、私は何を楽しむのかわかりませんよあ、私は何を楽しむのかわか
どちらもとってもかわいいのですよ Everybody, excluding me, stopped and stared blankly as their thoughts drifted over the horizon. It seems as if they can hear the roar of the open sea from over there. I'll say sushi is definitely a lot better of an answer than homework. Exactly. What a horrid game this is today. As the games pile on and on, it seems as if I will be further exposed as a petty human being. I'm the only one who still hasn't earned any points. I want to at least get a point in the next round. A flower, right? Damn it! This time I'll do it. Keep your cool, Keiji Maibara. Don't think what you would normally think. Everyone else here is a girl. Stop thinking like a man. If you write down Sakura Mochi here, you'll only be repeating the tragedies of the past. Throw away that gastrocentric male sensibility. Just for now, think of yourself as a girl. You're a girl. You're a girl. I am a girl. <laughs> This time it's perfect. I've completely suppressed my own instincts. This time, I will have a match. No, I will make it match. Oh, Rena. I don't know what's manly about Sakura Mochi, but okay. All these cultural things that I don't really get. Oh no, Rena and Rika giggle together. <laughs> Hanami? Hanami? I don't know what that is. I would suck at this game. Jesus. <laughs> Mion and Sadako's response was Hanami? Hanami? Seriously? Oh. <laughs> so they all thought like guys, I guess? I would. I like flower! Like that's the first thing I think of, or like a festival, like the. the cherry blossom festivals. Before I knew it, Rika Chen had circled behind me and was intensely reading the memo I had hidden behind my back. Cardmaster Sakura. <laughs> oh man. That's good. It became dead quiet. The abrupt silence enveloped the room. I'm wondering, card master soccer, is that like, is that a play on card captor? And if so, like this is the 80s or is that a reference to an actual thing that was in the 80s in Japan? You guys let me know, please. <laughs> this, this game is completely going over my head. It would be fine if somebody at least laughed at me or played it off as something dumb, but nobody even flinched. The feeling in the pit of my stomach reached critical mass. I think someone in the comments did say that the person who made this game is a big fan of uh, card captors, so maybe that is just a reference. Feeling in the pit of my stomach reached critical mass, causing my once blood-drained face to flush with a sudden wave of heat. Sa 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 oh, yep. <laughs> I'm guessing that's what it's the reference to. It's broken through to every- any- uh, bleh. It's broken through to em every demographic, from little girls to grown men! You've seen it, haven't you? No, you've definitely seen it. Even I've seen it! <laughs> it's that thingy where she fights in a different costume every week, right? Mm. 
Yep, yep. It's cute, isn't it? Rena sometimes browses through it as at the magazine stand to keep up with the story. Wait, why is there no more voices? I saw it for the first time recently. Sakura is cool and so cheerful all the time. I like that girl who's always filming with a camcorder. It's not just popular with little girls, it's also surprisingly well received by older boys, isn't it? To think that Kei-chan was one of those. I feel like I had inadvertently blurted out something unnecessary and it completely self-destructed, but that wasn't the main problem. Wait, why is there no voices anymore? Oh my gosh, am I gonna have to read everything? So you all know it, don't you? And why didn't you write it down? Sakura means Sakura Kinomoto. Sakura Ten. Pant pant. Cardmaster Sakura is the right answer! Poof. Mion quietly put her hand on my shoulder. There we go. I was like, I lost the voices there for a bit. <laughs><笑> What was today's penalty game again? Oh no. Ah, <laughs> 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 All right, another fun little chapter there. I I like getting back into the into the club again, and not worrying that they're gonna kill me. He 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 he. He's like, oh, it's all I can do to laugh to keep from crying. <laughs> Maybe it is his new kink, I don't know. He just discovered it. Rena cheerfully adjusted the hairband that had been enshrined upon my head. <laughs> He's learning things about himself in this chapter. <laughs> what if that's it? He, he murders them not because he's been taken over by Orishiro, just because they made him dress up. Swinging Mion's bag about wildly, I chased her in circles for a bit. Today's loser was quickly decided to be me. When I had been assured of finishing last, Mion showed her true power. She began racking up points with an iron fist. In the end, we didn't even have to add up the score to know who was on top. After that, in the changing room, with much wailing and gnashing of teeth, pushing the boundaries of shame and brutality, I was instructed by Mion on how to put on everything, from ribbons to underwear. Damn you, Mion. What do you mean knowing this would come in handy someday? ケイちゃん、声大きい、声大きい。黙ってりゃ演劇の<笑> I don't even know how- Oh go I don't even know what that is. I shuddered from head to toe, resisting the urge to scream. Saying that, Mion gently, gently rubbed my cheek. Oh, what kind of man gets praised for being easy to apply makeup on them? Maid-san's 
な、何が画僚転生だバカこらいじるなえへへへ圭一くん照れてるかいいそうそう男の人ってフリフリとかって好きなんだよねどうよそれを自分で身につけてみた感想は感想なんて別にそんなバカやめろめくるな<笑>キュッとするでしょ歩くたびに足元スースーするのちゃんと感じてる<笑> Stop Don't whisper such strange things in my ear This is how fetishes start I'm just saying My miserable manhood suddenly shifted いい赤くなってる赤くなってるやっと気づいたかなそう今ケイちゃんは成人男子垂前のメイドさんそのものなんだよ Stop it, Mion. He's like, I'm getting tingles down in areas I don't want to feel them. Really, why do you have to whisper that right in my ear? メイドさんをギュッて抱きしめたいって思ったことないケイちゃんは今ね、そのメイドさんと一体化してるの。わかるそれはね、肌を重ねるよりもずっと近い距離。ほら、息吹や鼓動が聞こえてこない<笑>これって、はあ、On the verge of overheating, a long red line flowed out of Rena's nose. ちゃんとお化粧して、ケイちゃん好みのストレートロングのカツラかぶせて、ケイちゃんの理想をそのままの美少女にコーディネートしてあげるよ。そしたらさ、私と一緒に。Oh man, I didn't realize that they did go the whole like he's got a wig and everything. Dang! と男たちの視線を独り占め。それはきっと。とても気持ちのいいことだよこれである一部分を除けば本物の女の子なのにな Saying that she tried to flip my skirt I feel like she's not just getting something like in cagey awaken but maybe Rena too Wow This is definitely not the time I can't let them see me with this male centric problem Crash thud Before I realized it, Rena was caressing my head and rubbing me with her cheek. Peering through Rena's vice like embrace, I saw Mion letting spread, laying spread eagle on her back. I see. This must be what Sadako and Rika chan feel like when they become Rena's prey. After that, it took quite some time to calm Rena down from her frenzy. ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
His artistic flame raging like wildfire. My dad dragged me along. I disappeared into the depths of the studio. Ew. He's gonna paint him? <laughs> paint me like one of your French girls. My mom is a go get em superwoman at work, but it occasionally takes a toll on her health. So this kind of situation is hardly a rarity. Dad quickly got the car ready. He must be hungry. He really only moves so energetically when it's time to eat. My dad usually only complains about things. For him to actually praise something is unexpected. I wonder what kind of place it is that he'd rank it three stars. It's one who seeks the way of the gourmand. I, Keiichi Maibara, am in, uh, genuinely intrigued. The headlights of the car cut through the early darkness of the Hinamizawa night, carving a straight path towards town. God, just remembering what happened at that little uh, street there. Oh no. Is it the same place that uh, Uishi took me? <laughs> With all the, like, the girls and the cute outfits? I was pondering where such a gem of a restaurant could be hidden away. It was shockingly the family restaurant right, uh, right by the station. Oh, it is too. The words Angel More were written on a very family restaurant esque cartoonish logo. It had the air of a girl oriented all you could eat cake buffet rather than a proper restaurant. <laughs> well, in a, in a previous life or an alternate reality, he has. Come to think of it, I hadn't. There's been some times where I traveled to faraway towns to eat, but returning only as far as Okinomiya uh, Station, there was really no reason to dine out. Home was just a stone's throw away after all. I see. That was the reason I never noticed it before. We stopped the car in the restaurant's parking lot. It seems like business is booming. There's quite a few cars parked here. But what really amazes me are the license plates. There's a lot of them that can't be from this area. Uh, Fukuya Ma Oh no. <laughs> so many Japanese names. Uh, Fukuyama. Nagoya. Well, that's fine. Chiba? Saitama? Opening up my mental geography book, I calculated how long it would have taken to get here via the major highways. <laughs> Following my dad, I climbed the steps and entered the building. The bell attached to the door clattered as we entered, and a waitress soon greeted us. After confirming our party size and whether we wanted a smoking or non-smoking seat, she guided us inside. Dad ordered two of the daily specials. It seemed that they were ready-made, so there wasn't much of a wait at all until our meals were brought to us. The taste was, no offense to Dad, not so different from your run-of-the-mill family restaurant. <laughs> Ew. Oh, it's so creepy that he took a son with him to, like, ogle at women? I see. It just may be that the food here might be nothing more than average. The demographic of the customers was pretty much all young men. It may call itself a family restaurant, but there wasn't a single table with a family. And yet it was packed. The parking lot was filled with cars from all corners of the country. If they didn't come from far and wide to eat this completely mediocre food, then there's only one reason. Dad flagged down a nearby waitress. Oh god! Oh, she looks like Mion! Ew, so creepy! Especially because she's probably like 16.
the apparently rookie waitress rushed off flustered. They look like they've just come from, like, an RPG game and they just got dropped into this, like, visual novel. Bam. Right. I'm glad Keiichi's acting normal about the situation. Be like, this is messed up. お前に感じさせてやりたかったんだよ。<laughs> well, I mean, I like it. This chapter, we're actually spending some time with the dad, whereas before he was just kind of like a background character. My father has always had a bad habit of trying to hide his embarrassment using incomprehensible nonsense as a smokescreen. I want to believe that this weirdness won't be genetic. Continuing his one sided rambling, my father stood up and headed to the washroom. With him gone, I was left alone in the booth. Finally, at this time, a feeling of embarrassment welled up inside me. I had nothing to do but go beat red with shame. The waitress from before returned, her eyes alternating between the order slip and the table. Like, uh, she looks uh, just uh, like Mion. Uh, uh, Arriving at my seat, she hesitantly tried to say something. A more veteran waitress offered some advice from over her shoulder. Just calm down and say, sorry for the wait. Uh, right, right, just like that. Do your best. Whispering that into her ear, the veteran waitress left. This waitress must have just been hired. With an absolute lack of confidence, she moved hesitantly and maybe even somewhat uh, perilously. Just watching her put me on edge. I silently watched as she placed the dessert on the table with an inexperienced hand. But it's just as Dad said, what incredible uniforms these are. They were like a bunny girl plus a maid plus some sort of frilly outfit, all in a perfect ratio. Most certainly a rather dubiously charming kind of fashion. Uh, I'm not getting that. I'm getting, like, battle armor from an RPG. But in any case, she's in no way appears to be a proper waitress. What should I do? I was catching glimpses of too many things. That is, I didn't know where I should look. Wearing something like that walking around the restaurant, it's as bad as it can be for digestion. Even though she was wearing the outfit, this particular waitress had no idea what to do either. It's a flustered state, without a doubt, should be attributed to the amount of bare skin showing rather than being new to the job. Both the waitress and I mutually avoided eye contact. What a platonically embarrassing feeling this is. I'm a customer, you know. It's alright to be more straightforward. My nose is starting to bleed. At that moment, our eyes just happened to meet. Both of us blinked, doubting who we were looking at. What? This is... Mion. What? Dayona. What? How do they not recognize each other? Like what, because she's got her hair down all of a sudden she's a completely different looking person and he'd have no idea? Eh? At, at, how did she not recognize him? Like, she's in uniform so I can kind of understand, but like... On top of her hair being let down, she was so far removed from her usual confidence-filled attitude, I didn't realize it was her at all. It was Mion. Why is she here? Why <laughs> Come to think of it, I did hear her talk about how her relatives have stores in town, and that she sometimes works part-time to help them. Oh, I joked about how she was like a 16-year-old, but <laughs> I wasn't as far removed as I thought, and that just means that his dad was just ogling his, his friend. Oh, a nervous feeling I had dissipated in an instant. Knowing that this was Mion, there's no reason to feel that way. Well, actually, my animal instinct tells me that the power balance between Mion and myself had been turned upside down. That's right, I'm a customer. My position is superior to hers. The humiliation from today's penalty game was cutting through the recesses of my mind. There really is a god. For him to grant me this opportunity for revenge. 
Noticing the flames of vengeance burning in my eyes, Mion took a step back. I confirm my preemptive strike was a clean hit. There's no mistaking that Mion is currently defenseless. While confirming my attack was successful, I simultaneously lined up the combo. みんな見てるぞ、きっと。そ、そんなこと言わないでよ。恥ずかしがった振りしてもダメだからな。ミオンはそういう恥ずかしい衣装で男の目を引いて楽しんでんだろ。じゃなきゃ、そんな格好できない
I imagine she would have said something about her. And or someone would have mentioned my own sister at some point. <laughs> Well, now she's self aware of that fact now, is she? As I unintentionally laughed aloud, Mion, no, Shihon, laughed with me. A little flustered after saying that, she quickly asked if it was okay for her to refer to me the same way her sister did. Seeing that blatant quirk was so cute, I couldn't stop laughing. I see. Makes sense. Anybody would be tentative doing a job they weren't used to. I know what she's trying to say. Huh? Shiona's probably thinking she misheard me. その制服。ミオン中には絶対に似合わないと思うけど、シオンちゃんにはよく似合ってると思うしさ。え、それってあの。Shion, like Rena often does, spaced out and turned bright red. Do, do you At least for this moment, it felt like the Shion character actually existed. Because there was no way that the Mion I knew had this side to her. At that moment, we realized that the more veteran waitress was waving at us from across the room. Sonozaki-san, R ha, hi! Mion finally returned to her senses. It seemed as if it was time for her to take her break. Now I'm kind of like wavering, like, does she actually have a sister? Or. <laughs> I don't want to believe it because she talked about Mion being her older sister, which means that she is way too young to be working in a place like this. Ah, I'm just like, I know, I'm such like a wet bag in that case. I'm just like, all I worried about, I'm like, these girls are too young. It makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> I I am concerned for them. That devilish laugh and smile, it was exactly the same as the one I knew. <laughs> Mion laughed with a warm smile devoid of any remaining nervousness and disappeared into the back. I felt like I had a very valuable experience today. That's right, for now I know the high and mighty Mion has a weak point to panic and get embarrassed about. But of all things, for her to say she has a twin sister, I thought that maybe I should ask Rena tomorrow if she really has a sister. Well, we know in the first game that these guys kept secrets from me, so who's to say that this sister is, you know, maybe another one, but why would the sister not be going to the school? But maybe it's better that I didn't ask. It's a bit mean-spirited. I've decided that the person I met here today was Shion, the younger twin sister. Maybe that has something to do with it. <laughs> maybe this one is all going to be about, maybe it's not Rena or Mion that are doing the things, but maybe they both somehow have twin sisters that are doing the evil things? I don't know. So I'll refrain from doing anything that would deny that. It's not like we actually made a promise or anything. But that little exchange gave birth to a new rule between me and Mion. Somebody tapped me on the shoulder. It was my dad. That was a long trip to the washroom. He probably came up with a new idea for an art piece while he was sitting on the can. Keiichi, soro soro ii ka? Kaero. Settling the bill, my father had his customer card stamped. It was pretty much filled. Damn, Dad, you're quite the regular customer. Dad had the oddest sense of tax sometimes. Ah, okay. Well, I don't know. I really don't know what's going on with this sister thing. 
みんな圭一と同じ学校に通ってるわけじゃないのか半分くらいらしいよ半分の生徒は町の学校まではるばる自転車で登校してるんだってさ In this way, the feeling that I was really talking to Shion came to me. What should I say to Mion tomorrow? I met your little sister? Something like that. Even with Mion being like that, us having a secret between the two of us made me both a little happy and a little embarrassed. Okay, that was an interesting chapter. Um, surprisingly wholesome and creepy at the same time? I'm very curious about the sister thing. Alright, is there really a Shion? <laughs> Might get our answer right here. Huh? Mion's family? Ah, more to Hirata Kuyeba, I t s n e k i l d a to Kainai no Kana, the o m o t e s a I was actually wondering whether her younger sister, a、uh, twin sister named Shion, really existed. And my curiosity got the better of me, so I quietly asked Sadako about it. She wasn't being very clear about it. Had Sadako never gone over to Mion's house to play? Seems kind of a weird thing in such a small town, you know? It's like everybody knows each other's business, so you think that they would, everybody would know if she had a sister. As far as I could tell, there were already dark clouds over the Shion is real theory. Sadako waved to Rika chan, who was basking in the sunlight. Rika knows all. Rika chan was surprised at the sudden question. そんなにたくさんいるのか例えばさうーんその先シオンってやつはいるのかえっとその聞き間違いかもしれないからひょっとすると実在しないかもしれないんだけどシーですかシーはいますですねあらいでもよだ Okay. <laughs> wow, I feel like a real dum dum. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I, I said before about how I was like, oh, she's her younger sister, so she's gonna be like, you know. We assume, I think Mion is 16, so she would be younger. So I was gonna, I said like 14 or 15. If she's, her, if she's her twin sister, she's the same age. I just, I, got, I latched on to the younger part.、Um, so maybe she's just younger, maybe she was born like a couple of minutes after. God, I feel like an idiot. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Rika chan knew a bit about her as well, but hadn't seen her much. <laughs> このクラスにいないってことは学校は沖ノ宮の方に通っているってわけかなお家も沖ノ宮なのかもしれませんわよだってミョンさん自身家族とは別でおばあさんと暮らしてるわけですから She didn't live with her parents? That was a bit odd Was there something between them? とてもややこしいお家なので Yeah, I'm very curious to learn more about Mion's family 親類の数が多いらしいですからきっといろいろと都合があるに違いないのですわ Especially knowing about the background story about Mion and her family、uh, being the big protesters at the dam construction I'm wondering For now I learned that she had a younger twin sister named Shion but her family structure including her own position still seemed very mysterious お三人揃って何の話だいおじさんも混ぜてよミオンさんいいところへミオンさんに双子の妹さんがいるってのは本当でございますのああミオンクラップい妹えっとううんいるよミオン grew uncharacteristically red on the face at a loss 
I think she's looking at me. Hmm. That reaction was weird. The fact I now I'm like, does she actually have a twin sister, or was that her at the uh, at the restaurant? And maybe she told Rika that she has a twin sister. No, I don't know. That was just a really weird reaction she just had. Like she's just using it as a cover, being like, uh, yeah, I have a twin sister, so you guys don't have to know I'm working at that restaurant. But then why would Rika say like, oh yeah, I met her before? Unless Mion told Rika, it's like, hey, uh, I'm. Tell people I have a twin sister, so if I do anything, they're gonna think it's her? I don't know. Why did it look like she was in such a panic? It's like she was declaring that the Shion from yesterday was actually a fake. Ugh. So, this didn't really- <laughs> I feel like this has left me with more questions than answers. Anyway, this was pretty funny, so I let it go for a little while longer. Another Mion under the name of Shion. I guess that's just this game as you think you maybe have something nailed down and then nope, maybe not the case. Will I be able to see her if I go to that restaurant again? I had a mysterious feeling as if I'd made a new friend, despite knowing that she and Mion were the same person. But do we? Do we really know that they're the same person? I don't know anything. That's pretty much me when I play games. These types of games. I don't know anything. I don't know what's going on. All right, and the next one, an introduction to Angel Mor. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Mor, like uh, like French, like angel and death, but it's it's weird. I can't speak French very well, so. Reprinted from the Victorious War Photographer's Guide, April issue, Complete Conquest Analysis, Family Restaurant Chapter. Now at last, we come to the blazing hot third day. To Angel Mall, a super famous restaurant and the envy of all enthusiasts, despite being located in the remote Shishibon city of XX Prefecture. Why exactly do the most famous stores avoid the centers of human habitation? It can only be because it is a trial given to us by the god of war photography. It's famous locally for having the best desserts in town, but that matters not to us. If you want expensive desserts, then you can just go to a censored place or something. We aim not for sweet treats, but for sweet uniforms. The fragrant aroma of sweat wafts from these obligatory waitress uniforms, creating no less than a public torture device. Ew. How can their bashful flirtation be on par with all the other restaurants with cute uniforms all across the country? War Photography Hunter. I was wondering that. Uh, it's like, you feel like those types of restaurants wouldn't be too rare so it's like i'm wondering and they said people all across the country came to this specific one so i'm just like why why is this one so special away the smoking areas are the real su superpositions aim for your chance at them with the t tenacity of an octopus ryu yesterday i failed to get seating today i will aim for the ultimate golden seat the corner box in the smoking area otaku are overwhelmingly non-smokers so I'll procure a spot in the smoking area and set up camp there. As expected of Ryu, the hunter. He's saying his victory was decided the moment he chose his seat. In actuality, Ryu used the same tactic during the grand opening of Akihab uh, Akihabara's XXXXX and succeeded in getting the best seats in the house. Back then, he also went early in the afternoon, just after the lunch rush, and not only did he find his target seat empty, he also obtained it with ease. By utilizing tricks such as ordering a little at a time, he effectively increased the number of opportunities for engagement, carefully scoping out his chance for a picture. But as if cursed by that from the day before, the god of war photography did not smile upon him. After suffering successive, firm defeats until 3pm, he finds no chances coming his way. And after 4pm, a man began to take his orders. It looks as though he's been seen through. It is the rule of a hunter to withdraw with grace once marked. Ryu, my aim was perfect, but the fork technique I used at 2.30 seemed to have backfired. Maybe they were wary since I sat in a booth and left my bag on the floor. Oh, gross. Was he, he was looking to take upskirt pictures. Gross, gross, gross. My camera was already hidden in my travel bag and might fossilize in there. There were two digit EGs involved for sticking here half the day. I'd have a high encounter rate. I am mortified. 
Even so, he still got a few pieces of gold. As to be expected from the hunter, he attained this nice angle despite lamenting his failure. He is an artisan. He is a pervert. More surprising, though, is that his, this uniform conquest across Japan has yielded not a single arrested person. What an amazing start for the hunter who brags about having to bin approximately half of the total prefecture police stations in the country. That thing the day before. The day before, our hunter took on the Shrine Maiden cuisine in Nagoya. His hunter spirit showed through too zealously, and as soon as he entered the store, he was seen through, placed in a booth, and waited on by the head priest. Despite waiting half a day, the much-anticipated Shrine Maidens appeared only at the time of his first order. A seriously huge blunder for a hunter. Now then, here we have the giveaway of the hunter's original photographs that always receive such high praise. We'll present one passionate reader with three all-you-can-eat low and ew. Ew. All you can eat, I do not like that terminology. Uh, low angle pictures of the Angel Moore uniforms chosen by the hunter himself. With such blazing hot pictures, you too can become a war photographer today. Uh, well, you know what? I should enjoy this happy go lucky stuff while it's here, even if it is kind of gross. A lazy, yeah, wafted through the class in response. Half the school day today was going to be home economics class. The plan was for everybody to make curry rice and give it to the forest rangers who let this building be rented out as a school. If everybody were making curry in the same pot, it would be of more of like a party-like atmosphere. But this was school after all. Excluding the youngest students, each of us would be making our own curry, with the results being judged. いいですか今でこそカレーライスは手軽で簡単で誰にでも作れるメニューということになっていますが、カレーは本来インド発祥とする古式ゆかしいちゃんとしたお料理です。日本式にアレンジされたとはいえ、そこには古代インドの英知と
I knew it. There's no way Mion would leave such an enticing event alone. As if saying, but wait, there's more. The teacher reappeared with the principal in tow. Even the principal? Looking around, it seemed like the interest of everybody in the class had been piqued. So you like it. Oh yeah, Rena's gonna have like quite the advantage on us. This is her like this is her wheelhouse right now. What about Mion? She doesn't seem like she's too good at cooking. Her type has always been bad at this kind of thing, her type. But Mion continued to look unconcerned. I don't like the way she said that. It couldn't be. Mion couldn't possibly. At that moment, the teacher's whistle sounded. The call to arms had sounded. We had to use an outdoor kit to cook the rice, but it wasn't that difficult for a camping veteran like me. Put the rice in the canister, push your palm to the bottom, and fill with water to just above the wrist. You filthy liar. If I put in any more, I'll just be left with some half-cooked porridge. サマーキャンプで習ったのかな。親父がデイキャンプが好きでさ。夏場なんかにはよく家族で出かけるんだよ。ってことは全員ご飯の炊き方は問題なし。つまり勝負の分かれ目はカレーの方ってことになるね。
She wasn't even breaking a sweat. When it comes to Riga-chan and cooking, I couldn't even hold a candle to her. He's probably like, I just need to beat Mion. But Roar? Do snakes make that sound? Alright then, how's Mion doing? She's definitely just fumbling along. There's no way she can peel potatoes so effortless effortlessly like that. Absolutely no way. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> As if she had already won, Mion proudly showed me the elongated potato skin. Now dang, so she just kind of played along like, oh yeah, just let me believe that she's not good at this kind of stuff. Strangely enough, the latter items were more realistic. It was the first few items on the list that seemed like a lie. Damn it! I'm also really good at cooking, especially Chinese food. Shot down before I could even say it. Clank. <laughs> it's just the casual cute way. She's like, I will destroy him. This does not look good. Everybody is smirking at me. Don't raise the white flag yet, Keiichi Maibara. Like, in the last chapter, he actually had some moments where he was successful and he did well at these. In this chapter, he is not doing so well. Don't throw away this match. Calm down and think. Then again, I should give him some credit. We're not, uh, we don't have a winner or loser yet in this one. Not about how to, how to peel these potatoes well, but about how to win this challenge. <laughs> Saying only that, I gathered up all the vegetables and left that spot behind. No matter how hard I try peeling these, if I slip up at this speed, I'll lop my fingers right off. Then, there's only one thing left to do. Oh, <laughs> it's little minions. It was the two underclassmen that had become my sworn brothers ever since the event at the toy store last Sunday. They had been paired with two girls for their group. Both of them pointed at the girls. They're not as good as Rena, but they were both good enough at handling a knife. まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、
Having brilliantly cleared the vegetable peeling challenge, I return to my comrades in triumph. <laughs> Having finished with preparing the vegetables, next is to boil a pot of water, then add the vegetables in order of which takes longest to cook. I learned this part from my mother when we went camping. But just cooking in order, it probably won't garner a lot of points. Look over at Rena. She had a variety of vegetables cooking together in a delicate balance. She wasn't being ambitious or calculating a way to win the game. She was making delicious food with a mother's touch. I have a feeling that I could somehow compete with Mion in terms of technique, but I would be no match for Rena. She was way out of my league. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I will destroy you. <laughs> no. <laughs> nice, Rena, nice. Ugh, when she enters club mode, even the normally kind Rena becomes an enemy. Looks like Rika Chan is cooking apples as well. Ugh, she's like a pro at this. How about Mion? What? Mion, Teme? Sorry, I'm not a hamburger. 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 I'm not a h a m b u r g e r I'm not a h a m b u r g e I'm not a hamburger. 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 Mion, just for today, you brought all this stuff from your house. Ugh, for that normally serious teacher to go so far as to append a star to the end of her sentence. Just as the rumor said, she is a through and through curry freak. レナとリカちゃんは天性の料理上手あたしは入念な事前準備でケイちゃんは<笑> It's hopeless In the grand scheme of cooking, peeling the potatoes is only a small part of it The hurdles I must overcome are just too numerous and too high 前原さんこっちこっち Turning around, I saw the voices calling me belong to the two underclassmen from earlier Tomata kun and、uh, Okumura kun. What are you doing? 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 Oh, that's right. If I don't win, then the talk of eating Sadako and Rika chan's curry goes right out the window. It seems like you guys are getting riled up about this too. Filling in on day duty three times. These guys, to assure me victory, have paid the price. That gaze filled with burning conviction for my underclassmen. Yeah, I'm not fighting this alone. I'm fighting this with everyone. It's a gas stove, so controlling the heat is easy. All that's left is to let it stew a bit. The delicious smell of curry began wafting upwards. The pot gifted to me by my two underclassmen certainly drew some double takes. Rena even looked surprised when she came to take a look, so it must be pretty good. Rena's curry is a good one. 
結果はどうかケイチさんリカが呼んでますわよ言ってあげてでございますうーん I'm I don't want to leave my curry alone with you guys I feel like you're gonna sabotage it especially Sadako I wouldn't put above Sadako to sabotage it somehow what? Rika-chan's calling me what could it be? well whatever while I'm at it I can gather some intelligence on the enemy Rika-chan was doodling on the ground in front of the pot. Because all that's left is to let it stew. Even then, it's good to know that she doesn't leave the stove unattended. Yo! Rika-chan no hua, donna guai dai? Kare san na no desu. Huh? Rika-chan was doodling something strange and introduced it as Mr. Curry. Kare san wa sugoi no desu. Me kara beam mo demasu. Beam. Apparently, Mr. Curry shoots beams from his eyes. Drawing a beam with a stick, she etched a line towards my feet. Does this mean I've been shot with a laser? I took another stick in my hand and reflected the beam, striking Mr. Curry. Rika-chan and I scratched at the ground, thoroughly engrossed in our doodle war. Wait a moment. Nah, Rika-chan, did you call me something about me? Yes, I called you. But the word is over. Uh-huh. Hey, Rika-chan, you can go to the house. At that moment, a chill ran up my spine. Already fulfilled her purpose? Headed back to my pot, standing there just as I feared was Sadako. With no questions asked, I drop kicked the back of her head. She's like, it wasn't me. At that moment, a gentle breeze blew by, knocking over a ladle that was stood up on its end. Or ladle? 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 I think it's ladle. The ladle, like a domino, fell over and knocked over the next cooking utensil in a row. Whap, 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 whap. Clank, clank. Thud, thud. I didn't even have time to react. The chain reaction knocked over a cutting board, then a frying pan. The next after that was my pot. Oh no. Crash. The fry pan struck my pot full force, tipping it over. The contents cruelly spilled out, and now our masterpiece was being sampled by the schoolyard. I stared, dumbfounded. It was such a beautiful and elaborate mouse trap that for a moment I lost touch with reality. <laughs> At the very last moment, I had let my guard down. I ignored the culinary incompetent Sadako for far too long. She's a trap master, right? Even if she couldn't cook, Sadako still had this method of fighting back. Just then, Rena, who had been sampling her own pot, let out a scream. Oh, she... Oh, she did it to everybody's. Was Rena also sabotaged? Then what about Mion? Rika-chan and Sadako rub my dumbfounded head to their heart's content. Pushing the desk together, it was about time for the meals to be judged. The delicious odor of curry spread throughout the courtyard. The members of the forestry service, to whom we owed gratitude for their daily work, were guided to their seats. The principal gave a bit of a ceremonial introduction. 
Next, the teacher expressed her desire for them to judge the curry contest. The men from the forestry service seemed to like that kind of thing and gave their enthusiastic approval. Everybody in the class brought up their painstakingly made curry and arranged them on the desk. The only club members who managed a decent result were Rika Chan's group. Knowing full well it was a failure, Rena plated her curry for the judges. She already knew she was going to get a low score. That's gotta hurt her more than anyone, but at least she was still able to serve hers. Both Mion's and my curry were completely obliterated, so we couldn't even line them up on the table. The judges started from the curry made by the lower grades. They had a lively discussion praising the food. Finally, it was our curry's turn. Wasn't Mion's? Like, hers wasn't knocked over. She said it was just salty, right? And yet they said that she couldn't even serve it. Hmm. The principal cheerfully shoveled a spoonful of Rena's salty curry into his mouth. Of course, his expression immediately changed. Chie-sensei must have had some expectations, judging from her disappointment. The rest of the judges grimaced after they each had a bite. I feel sorry for them. Saying that, the principal devoured the rest of the oversalted curry in one go. Truly a man again, uh, amongst men. Rena was down and out. Her offensive ca uh, capabilities were something else, but she was defeated due to her weak defense. I'm waiting for Mion to have done something secretly as payback. Or not. There was also the incident with Rena's salted curry right before this, so the judge's assessment was extraordinarily high. Maybe not just extraordinarily, but perhaps today's forerunner? The judges began a heated debate. One of those judges let out a sigh as he removed a chunk of carrot with his spoon. Personally, I think that carrots are a staple of curry, but I guess to each their own. However, seeing that, Rika-chan read the nameplate on the chest of his cover uh, coveralls and began to speak. What is she saying all of a sudden? Everybody turned to Rika-chan with a stunned look. But what Rika-chan just did was super effective. The carrot-hating judge began stuffing his face with curry while tears streamed down his face. He got shamed by a child. Sob, mommy! While crying like that, he continued to shovel curry into his mouth. That's right. Rika-chan's curry was by no means simple. No, that curry had the taste of a mother's cooking. With the carrot-hating judge out of the picture, Rika-chan's assessment was unanimous. <laughs> Sadako let out a shrill laugh as she declared victory, but at that moment... Ooh, all of a sudden, in all its perfect glory, Mion's curry. Not only the judges, but the teacher, the underclassmen, and of course myself, could only gasp in admiration. Hamburg steak with a demi-glaze uh, demi sauce and a fresh salad. It's a set. It wouldn't be stretching it to say that this was a full course meal. It's perfect. Perfectly made. Sadako was also shocked. Even Rigachan couldn't hide her surprise. It seems the victor was decided without even needing a taste. Of course, the hamburger was hand-kneaded. Uh, hand the salad also had a homestyle dressing, but of professional quality. And the curry, not even a micron of grit. 
とっても美味しい実に豊かな味わいですよ園崎さんこのカレーこそインド6000年の英知と日本人の食文化の美しい融和の生きた I want to know. She's, I know she's going to tell us how she did it, but how did she do this on such short notice? Mio bowed politely and then winked at us with a smirk on her face. そんなはずありませんわ確かにハンゴーに再興しましたのに That's right Sadako had dumped salt in Mion's rice cooker which should have ruined it At that moment it hit me I spun back towards my own canister That's why At some point my cooking canister had been opened its contents completely emptied み、みよめ俺のご飯を使いやがずるいぞお前のカレーも半分よこせミオン clucked her tongue and waved her finger at me with a, as a smirk washed over her face おっとケイちゃんそれは甘えてるよこの最後の土壇場をケイ私は諦めなかったそういう差でしょ勝負は捨てたらおしまいってこと Gah, I couldn't even properly voice my shame. It lulls me to say it, but Mion is right. To give up so quickly on the match was my own folly. For Mion to have brought that to my attention, I should actually be thankful to her. Well then, did that mean that even in this situation I shouldn't give up? Tomatakun and Okumarakun suddenly appeared. Damn it. Even though my protégés had tried so hard, I wasn't able to meet their expectations. じ、事故ですよ。仕方ないです。Both of them were dejected. I couldn't accept defeat so easily. I was their senior. What would I be if I didn't pick up the broken pieces of the dream I had shown them? I just learned it from me on just now, didn't I? Don't throw away the contest. Not until the last moment. 考えろ、前原慶一。考えるんだ、ま、カレーを作る方法じゃない。勝負に勝つ方法だ。<laughs> I had an idea. I didn't think it could turn the tables, but it was better than nothing. Both of them dispersed after receiving these instructions. Oh, ミセテモラオジャナイ。オーショキワノワルヨトコキラワレマスナヨ。ウルセ、オレノサイゴノショボ、ダマテミテロ。マズミオ。オマイノハンゴウモラウゾ。イヤトワイマセン。ベツニケ
Firmly patting the top of Sadako's head, Mion said those words with all the gravitas of a club president. The judges, seemingly growing tired of sampling the various curries, were debating each entry. From what little I overheard, it seemed that Mion's impending victory was not in question. My combative posturing had drawn the attention of all the judges. Oh, she does not look pleased. The judges smile wryly at the simple fare that was quite in contrast to the preceding bravado. Rena poured tea into the cup she had brought over from the break room. Oh, is he getting the, their palates used to the salt so that the curry doesn't seem so salty by comparison? Rena's expression told me she thought this was a great idea, but it might still not be enough to win the match. The judges were chewing with their mouths full and sipping at the tea. Nobody was singing praises or awestruck. They were just quietly chowing down. Oh, okay. Because they were judges, they had to sample each and every offering. And because they were from small children, because they were made to show their appreciation, they couldn't eat just a little bit of each. They couldn't say it out loud, but this was the tastiest thing they'd had today. I confirm that by looking at their eyes as the, as the judges smile wryly. The teacher and the principal had folded their arms while they pondered the situation. My underling, seeing that, saw the small glimmer of hope fade away and grew dejected. Was this little surprise just not enough? Mion whispered quietly. That's right. If I didn't push here... The principal stopped the teacher. It looked like he was giving me one final chance. The judges, having eaten their fill, quietly waited for my statement. アレンジした日本の食文化の一つと言えるでしょう。冒頭に先生がおっしゃられた通り、インドと日本の文化の融合の結晶なのです。前原君の言うことはわかります。でもそれとおにぎりにどんな関係が？とても簡単なことなんです
Our agricultural forebears watered the fields, fighting the elements, disease, and pests to grow and raise our own rice-centric culture. Yes, the Japanese people had formulated a, a plethora of dishes, but those were nothing more than attempts to find ways to enjoy eating rice. In other words... It was scattered at first, but slowly grew into a steady roar. It was a thunderous applause that praised me. Mion, stifling her laughter, stepped forward. ホテルの人たちが様々な材料を振らすから空輸。でもその Mion, she was providing fire support. I had to be grateful. The judges were somehow moved by this complicated yet baseless trivia. A stern look washed over the teacher's face as she as she refolded her arms. Maebara-kun です。前原君やその崎さんが言うように食文化には垣根はありません。人を心底簡単させるものならその形式は何ら差別されるものではない。お嬢。じゃあ。お鍋をひっくり返したって。でも今日だけですよ。くじけないで頑張ったので特別に
ああいう場だったので満点ということにしましたが分かっていますねえ分かってって何がすか<笑> Jesus Wow there was an odd glint in the teacher's eyes If I had to describe it it was curry colored Like a pot of stewing curry her, her eyes whirled around in a spiral A chill washed over me The teacher clutched me by the shoulders and drew me in closer until our noses were almost touching. I am going to be killed by a curry god. <laughs> The curry cult is going to be taking Keiichi in this,、uh, in this chapter. Curry, curry, curry. He, he, he. Yep. <laughs> He's been possessed by the curry, the curry spirit. It wasn't that long before hunger brought me back to my senses. 